Where's my blowy? But <laughs> Hello and welcome. Before we get into this, I just want to address the elephant in the room, which is that most of the people watching my videos aren't subscribed. Um, I don't know how to say this, but that is very disrespectful. It is. It's very disrespectful. And I didn't want to call you out. But unfortunately, it has to be said because you're not understanding that I don't take disrespect. So if you're watching this right now and you're not subscribed, subscribe. Immediately. I'm sorry. <laughs> Only if you want to. Only if you want to. Okay, but listen, let's get into this because there is a show that they want you to forget about. They want you to just act like it never existed because the show is that bad. It's that terrifying. It's that disgusting. And that show is Adults Adopting Adults. Now this show came on A&E. It was supposed to air 10 episodes. And guess what? After they aired the third, it was immediately canceled. Why? They say it's because of low ratings, but we all know it's deeper than that. There is one couple in particular that has been, I guess you could say exposed online, on TikTok of course. And honestly, that's probably the real reason. So I saw one episode of this show and I was like, I'm good. I'm good, I don't need any more. I don't need any more. It really is so bizarre. Um, it's sad, actually. First of all, when you watch this show, there are multiple couples in this show who are adopting an adult for various reasons. Some of these people seem kind of normal, but this one couple in particular, something is not right. Something is not right. This guy named Danny, he really wants to adopt this 20 year old woman from Austria and she's pregnant. Okay, sure. Maybe he's just a good guy who wants to help someone out in need. No offense, but when has that ever been the answer? When has that ever been the answer? Um, he has a wife named Christy who was very obviously uncomfortable with the whole thing. She looked at me as a father figure and I see her as my daughter. I've always wanted a, a daughter in my And he just says really weird things all the time like this. What would you want it to say? If it was my poster, I'd want it to say, welcome to Ohio, where's my blowy? But <laughs> and I see her as my daughter. Where's my blowy? But <laughs> you knew it. You knew it. Why are you going to be such say. a freak show? And this. I certainly am very very concerned that I may become physically attracted to Ileana. This is a delicate subject, but so far I have not thought of her as a beautiful woman. She is. And it seems very, very obvious that he does not care about his wife's feelings. She makes it known that she does not like this. She doesn't want to go through this plot twist again. To my attention when a young 18 year old girl came and bought a puppy from us her father had passed away years before and i just felt a need to help her in some way unfortunately i could not pursue that that first young lady because i actually started having feelings for her she was a very beautiful young lady he's been unfaithful in the past and it almost ended us. Then Ileana came along and I thought, he's really doing this again. So Elena, she's 20. Danny is like 50 something. I think he's 59. Who knows how old Chrissy is, but she's probably around the age of Danny. And you get to see so much pain <laughs> in her eyes. It's just so sad. I don't understand how someone could, um, first of all, pitch this show. Have people get on board with it. Do the casting. Cast these people. Film it. Edit it. 
and then air it and think this is okay. It's not just that he's creepy, right? It's that he's blatantly disrespecting his wife and does not care about her feelings at all. I'm not even convinced that he likes her. Just look at the way they're interacting. We're just gonna be a family, we're gonna share things. So Christy, if you were willing to share our marital problems, this would be a perfect place for you to do it. No. just sad all around. Christy, you deserve better. And Elena, I don't know why you don't feel creeped out, but you absolutely should. Now, things get worse because on TikTok, Danny was accused of human trafficking. Where are they the naked girls? I'm <laughs> <laughs> right there. People are saying the only reason why he wanted to adopt her in the first place is so that he could do creepy things with her. And you know what I mean when I say creepy things. So back in the day, I had a survival business uh, where I taught survival training. Yeah. And it held all the stuff for that. Um, now it just holds a bunch of stuff I need to get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to end up in the trailer. <laughs> so you don't want to end up in the trailer. These delightful people are from Chillicothe, Ohio. I'm not accusing anybody of anything, but there's currently a serial killer on the loose in Chillicothe, Ohio. I've been driving for 12 years and it was unlike any other conversation I've ever had. Well, I had driven Danny before. Danny is known to be a little bit creepy. He got in the car that day and said something creepy like he always does. He's very delusional. For example, he got in the car and he said, that he told his co-worker that the last time he rode with me that he told me he liked to eat the P word and Shay was going to pull over and make me prove it. That's oh, how delusional he gross. is. That's how, just to give you an idea of like uh, just how out there he is. And his co-workers say the same. It's giving scary. Mm-hmm. Yup. It's giving terrified. This is the first time I heard of a network just completely um, canceling a show before they even air the first season. <laughs> but, you know, it's rightfully canceled and they want you to forget about it. They're just, they're like, let's just stop this. Let's just stop this now. And they say it's for low ratings, but even if it was just low ratings, don't you think that they would just air the episodes they already have anyway up until 10? Just to see if they can try to get the ratings up? Mm, it's probably not just about low ratings, okay? You know how many things they show that nobody watches? Anyway, I'm done here. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe because it's starting to get rude. It's starting to get rude. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back. Really appreciate it. Let's get to 1,000. Come on, let's get to 1,000. I'm trying to monetize the channel. <sighs> okay, don't forget to like the video, comment on the video, don't leave a weird comment. Like, be normal about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and subscribe. See ya.